On PM Express tonight, a big conversation um, that has gripped the world and, of course, Ghana in the last few days since Friday, the Airbus bribery scandal. We are interested in the facts, the law, and the politics. We're going to delve into all that tonight. We know that the bribery scandal emerged after the Airbus and authorities in both France, uh, UK, and also the United States of America reached an agreement. It's called the Deferred um, a Prosecution Agreement, which has been implemented. The Airbus will simply avoid prosecution on the back of that. But what is the genesis of this? The Ghana was last week mentioned in, in the documents that led to this particular agreement uh, between Airbus and the British U.S. Fraud Office. But also, as I've mentioned, the, the U.S. Uh, agencies as well have also picked up on, on Ghana's role in this old bribery scandal that has unfolded over the last few days. Now, the British SFO was investigating Airbus for failing to prevent bribery in the territories in which it operated, and Ghana was, was obviously one of them. Now, it, it was agreed between the two parties that if now Airbus complies with the terms of the agreement, it will escape prosecution. Now, we also know that two key personalities have been identified in this particular document that is generating a lot of controversy surrounding the bribes that were allegedly given. The documents, both the SFO documents and the United States uh, prosecutor's document, details at least in excess of three million euros paid to one individual. His name is only identified, really, as intermediary five but the key individual in this whole discussion as far as the bribery allegations are concerned is an individual identified as government official one now government official one the clues that are left is a senior elected government official who was a key decision maker as far as the purchase of military aircraft is concerned that's what we know about him and many have said who they think that person is. Intermediary 5, we are told, is somebody without prior knowledge in aviation. But we also are told in the documents he was young. He's a British citizen, but Ghanaian as well. Was born in Ghana, sent to the United Kingdom, uh, and lost touch with his family for a while. So a lot of clues in there for those who say, if you know, you do know. It's become very controversial. The MPP had gone... A step further and they say this government official one is indeed no other than the presidential candidate of the National Democratic Congress the NDC now the party has you know has dared the former president to, to come out and deny this claim that they've made uh, it says it's not the first time that the court has you know is declaring that the XY Mahama government had had some corrupt dealings there well, again, they say the, the former president should point out persons in his government. This is challenging him for full disclosure here. Persons in his government who ha had dealt and were involved in this uh, issue with, with the bribery. Now, the NDC has a response. They issued a statement denying that there was any bribery. And that statement was signed by Marita Bria Pierre Pond. And she was the attorney general between 2013 and 2017, a key period within which a lot of the deals that became controversial is subject of investigations for both the SFO and the prosecution's office in the United States of America. She was there. In fact, she signed some of the uh, opinions that on this very matter in the purchase of the three military aircraft. And, and she says, well, that no bribes were paid. Well, we're waiting for further and better particulars. Now, they argue that the media reports are misleading. The key questions to explore and to try and separate, what are the facts? What does the law say? And then, of course, there's a politics. Stay with us after the break. We'll delve into all three. And you're live on PM Express tonight. My guest in the studio is former Deputy Interior Minister 
Mr. James Agaga. He's also the member of parliament for Busa North. Mr. Agaga, thank you for your time here on PM Express. Thank you, uh, also joining me is the MP for Adenta. He is in the passing of Yao Babin Asama, but he's here really as the Director of Communications for the New Patriotic Party. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. We're joined by the GII's Ghana Integrity Initiative, um, Mary, who joined us. In fact, she joins us now. Uh, Mary, thank you for your time also here on PM Express. Uh, we are grateful that you could join us from on Skype. Thank you very much, Evans, and to your cherished listeners. Fantastic. Let, let's start, let me start with you, um, uh, James, because uh, quickly clarify. Um, you were the Deputy Interior Minister around the period when some of the deals we've been told of in both the UK and the US courts were, were active. Is that accurate? Uh, yes, Evans. Um, insofar as um, the period in focus is uh, confined to um, 2013 January to 2017 uh, uh, in January, then yes, okay. yeah, but um, the period uh, that which spans 2009-2008 up to 2012, I was not there. Okay, what do you know about it then? Was it the first time you're hearing about it, or because of your workings in government, then it came to attention at all? Evans, what I do know about the transaction in question is what I've read in the hands that. And I have the hands out here for the benefit of those who haven't cited it. Mm -hmm. um, the hands out is the official report of Parliament. So you can read this mm -hmm. July 20th. And the um, relevant column is column 3242. The agreement for the purchase or the procurement of the um, aircraft was duly laid, it was a loan transaction laid before the House of Parliament, thoroughly debated upon and approved. I mean, there was unanimity between both sides of the aisle, the majority and minority. I have it here. I mean, if you, you, you can read through the, the committee's co co report. Talk to me where the, committee's report, where the minority side and then the MPP back the deal. No, no, no. There was, there, was, there was a report. I don't have uh, okay. time to do that, but the report is very clear. I can refer you to um, column um, 3130, three, three, no, six zero, the recommendations of the committee. And you know the committee is bipartisan. Mm -hmm. The committee, having carefully examined the importance of the facility, recommends to the House to adopt the report of the Joint Committee on Finance and Defense and Interior and approve by resolution the loan agreement between the government of Ghana and the Dutch Bank SAE of Spain for an amount of 16,034,636 uh, euros for the acquisition of two CASA 295 military transport. So this aircraft. is the one that was sold in the second campaign? That's right. No, the, 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 first, campaign. the first campaign. The second campaign is captured uh, in the official report dated 25th March 2015. 15. If, if you read through these um, hazards, you find that both sides of the aisle, minority, majority, thoroughly debated the um, transaction. Mm -hmm. And nowhere was it ever stated that there was no value for money for the transaction that government had embarked upon. My, 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 my friend is here. He's fortunately, he's a member of parliament. I would challenge him if issues uh, relating to value for money was ever raised. I mean, he can um, give us a clear indication to that effect. But that was not done. And so, and so, and so, and so, oh, but the hazard is there for our guidance. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying this on authority. I've read through the hazard. Yeah. So those issues never cropped up. But Evans, mm -hmm. what is important is that I, I can see, and the MPP has spoken at length through their director for communications, who is here with me, my good friend, who happens to be a lawyer. I mean, there is a judgment here, a deferred prosecution agreement. Yeah entered into between um, Airbus and the SFO of the UK. So there was no prosecution, I mean, properly speaking. But there was some arrangement which made it possible for... Because Airbus uh, admitted. Some profits yeah. to be disgorged, right, from Airbus. Because 
based upon Airbus's own admission yes. and investigation they had undertaken themselves. Yes. But they blew their own whistle. Themselves, yes. Together with investigations, confirmatory investigations mm -hmm. done by the SFO, they came to the conclusion that there was some bribery uh, in, in, in relative to the dealings of their agents. They called them BPs, yeah. intermediaries. Bribing the government. You whatever said. you want to call it. I guess it's the most important part Now, of Evans, the MPP has sought to create the impression that in this judgment that I have in my hands, it's the judgment of the Crown Court of uh, uh, England, mm -hmm. that some reference to... Government official one. Government official one, intermediary five, refers to President Mahama and his brother. Does it not? These views are preposterous. For want of a better word, very preposterous. And your reason is? The reasons for not identifying the uh, persons involved is contained in the judgment itself. Where? So you have paragraph 13 Which of the judgment. This, this is the SFO one? Yes. Okay. Of England, the Crown Court decision, yeah. or if you like, judgment. Yes. It's, it's clearly contained therein. And let me read the relevant portions. It is appropriate to protect the rights of the suspects to a fair trial because the Crown Court was fully aware of the fact that the people named in the judgment may not have even been dealt with by the two investigative bodies. First of all, the, the attorney commissioned by Airbus may not have had the opportunity to talk to some of the people fingered here. Secondly, the SFO of England is not conceivable that they were able to talk to all the people here. So, so, so in line with what? Natural justice. It would be grossly unfair to mention the names or disclose the identities of the people involved here. Because you haven't spoken to them. You haven't spoken to them. How can you cite them for bribery? Uh, bribery? Because in an allegation of bribery, Evans, remember, you have to identify a giver and a taker. Now, if you read through the judgment, the government of the judgment is that Airbus came to the realization that certain internal mechanisms it had instituted to uh, help check bribery and corruption and to protect its reputation had been violated. So it commenced its own investigations and blew the whistle. When the F S S SFO came into the picture, it became very glaring that their agents, their intermediaries, were at fault. Those agents, it is important to note, were are the agents or were the agents of Airbus and not the government of Ghana. I mean, that is very, very instructive. <laughs> that is very instructive. And so if in the course of the investigations it was even established that some commission, which was paid in excess of 850,000 uh, euros, and it's contained in the, the judgment. No, it's far more than that. No, 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 no. In, I'm, I'm talking about this judgment. No, I've read no, it. It's, it's far more. I've it's, read it's, it. three, it's, three, it's three million plus. There was an agreement for the payment of commission yes. to the agent. So if you read the judgment clearly, you would see. Well, I don't it know. Is, it is stated. It's very categorical. So mm. the agents were entitled to some payments. Yes. But they're saying that the, the payments were in excess of an amount of 850,000 euros. Yeah. But, but the question then to mm -hmm. ask is, Evans, yeah. if they established positively that some payments, commissions were paid to their own agents illegally, did they establish categorically in the judgment who received, who was bribed, this judgment is silent on that, and I've stated the reason. The judgment itself has stated the reason why it is improper, it is legally well, unfair and untenable well, well, I'm, to disclose I'm, 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 I'm the sure, identities of I'm sure you've the identities of the people. I, I'm sure they have they have uh, uh, abused, you know, if you like, the coded language to describe. I'm sure you've also read in in that same statement of facts. I'm sure you've read that. 
where the SFO notes that these, then they call it bribes. In fact, the section under which the people were charged and confessed is, is instructive. It's a uh, prevent bribery contrary to section 7 of the Bribery Act of 2000. I'm not in denial of uh, this I mean, of but, but, no, but, but they make the point. I'm not in denial. That the bribes that were paid were paid to induce. Were paid to whom? This well, judgment is not categorical. Well, well, the commissions well, they, were received, Evans. Government official one. Wait a minute. The commissions were received. And intermediary five. This judgment does not even state affirmatively that government in, uh, 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 official one received bribe. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't say so. Mm -hmm. In any case, Evans, this judgment, this judgment has never mentioned President Mahama as the communications director of the MPP would want us to believe. But, but, but here's the thing. This judgment but, 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 but has thing. not thing. mentioned a brother of President Mahama. In any case, I'm saying on authority mm -hmm. that none of the brothers of President Mahama is a British national. None. But in his book, I hear them in say, his book, I hear in them his say, book, in his book, Evans, I hear them say, yes. I hear them say. No, but, but you can't say that because no, the man no, no, in I his hear own say, book yes. admits that he has a brother who was taken to the United States when he was nine years old. Oh, sorry, was taken to the UK when he was nine years old. And who is that? Someone. Who is that? Ah, Evans, what is contained in some book written by the president? You want to uh, 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 translate or if you like transfer that, make some uh, impute that may be the, 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 the character, the character, the character in, in that book is the one under reference here. Evans. Th this government official Evans. one was elected. Evans. Was elected and assumed Evans. office, when assumed I, office I, I, in Evans. 2009. I, you see, I've who else could it be? Evans, there were so many officers. Was it at the ministerial level? The time in question, but the time spans, span, spans, no, no, 20, no, no, spans 2009 to 2015. 2015. First of all, let's, let's, let's even talk about uh, 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 the levels. If you are talking about the ministerial mm -hmm. level, how many ministers served at the MOD, Ministry of Defense? No, but this person... No, how many ministers? I'm sure a lot. Some of them were elected, not I, so. I, 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 Some of them elected were elected, to, not so. Elected to... Did they, did they state in the judgment to, where they to, were elected to? No, but... The but, judgment says an elected official. An so elected Evans, why official, do you want to put words in my mouth? An elected official who took... Who you came want to, to stretch who came the to definition office, of who elected to, who took official? Office, who took office in 2009. Yes. Who had... Who was a and key I'm decision saying, maker. Uh, yes. In Evans, reference I'm to... I'm saying that... Let us, let us even talk about... The, and this the official, on this from official, the ministerial level, the, the, this is the reason why. Is Evans, it, this all, is a, here's a question. Here's a question. Evans, it's a all reason, the extrapolation you are making. No, no, it's that does not help resolve the I'm, problem. I'm asking you a question. This official, yes, was there in that position, yes, from 2009, yes, to 2016, yes. Which official has that? I have has no that clue. security of tenure I during have, that period. I have no clue. Those who are making those the allegations, mm -hmm. right? The onus of proof lies on them. Let me, let me bring him in. They should, they should, they should spare us the speculations. Those innuendos in 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 contained in this particular judgment will not suffice. They should spare us the speculations. You see, I want Evans, to bring him in. I, 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 Evans, just no, hold your horses me, there. I want, me, I want to bring I, him let in. Let me let me get to a come back. I'll come back. No, I'll come back to you. Just give me a let second. Me get to a yeah. I'll, I'll come back to you. Just quickly make a note for me. So he makes a very important point about the reason why the names were not disclosed, and that the judgment admits that you have to give them a fair hearing, which presupposes that these individuals who were not named were not named because their sight had not been heard. And that is the reason why they have not been named. So why is the MPP jumping the gun and going to that conclusion? Pathetic. Pathetic to say that naming them is preposterous or that we couldn't have found their names out. Arguably, the SFO knows them already. Arguably. And given this judgment, we are at liberty to fish them out, which we have done. If they dispute that, it's them. That is fine, they have means of disputing that. But they can't say that it's preposterous that we fish them out based on the facts that we have. 
You can't say that. That's pathetic. That's a, a very, very pathetic position. Now, the second thing is that this judgment is about a widespread network of bribery. It's apart from the commissions, which is what you were mentioning, the three million. Yeah. The commissions were the window dressing, the above the line payments, yeah. where they even breached the OECD ceiling by paying an extra 850,000 out of 900 and something, except the intermediary, the third intermediary who falsified documents kept 60,000 for himself. So there is widespread bribery and 5 million euros were promised go between intermediary five who dealt with government official one to ensure that the government purchased this aircraft and that is how come the investigation came up in the first place let me give you a very short quotation from the same judgment he's waving before we go ahead paragraph 38 of the judgment it says that each of the counts on the indictment concerns similar conduct the detail of which can be found in the statement of facts mm -hmm. At 188, Ghana is dealt with extensively. In brief, persons associated with Airbus, not exclusively its employees, which means it includes its business partners, the agents, offered very substantial sums of money by way of bribes to third parties in order to secure the purchase of aircraft by civil airline companies in counts one to four, which is Malaysia and the other, country, and by the government of Ghana in count five. Now, this indictment, based on the mode called the Deferred Prosecution Agreement, it's very interesting. This is a very far advanced mode of criminal law that I, I find extremely interesting, mm -hmm. where rather than go to trial, you can concede to the prosecutors that you are guilty and negotiate the terms of your guilt including reparations, including conduct to be of good behavior and otherwise, and you get out of jail. And you spare yourself the long trouble of standing in the dock over the years and ruining your company reputation and all those things. So the deferred agreement shouldn't be underestimated to mean something not in the mainstream of prosecution. It is virtually a concluded trial. Whatever is in here is virtually a concluded trial. It's a trial of Airbus SE and its business practices over the years Airbus, with his partner. Airbus issued a statement saying that this doesn't mean that they're admitting what are committing they doing? crime. And what are they doing? I mean, they're very clear on that. And, and what are they doing? And that I want to read it to you because it's important just mm. to add that to this. It says, yeah. it says that um, uh, this agreement does not amount, I'm quoting an Airbus statement mm. that was issued dated um the 31st of january in Amsterdam, it says this agreement does not amount to an admission of liability this is airbusting making, them, making them. what does it mean when you agree to pay nearly a billion dollars in one jurisdiction totally over 3.5 billion euros throughout the world to three different jurisdictions you are you are saying it is nothing it is what well, the a gift, the substance a Christmas was, was gift. not tried. Well, no, Evers, what do you have? Please, 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 you spoke no, no, no. for 30 oh. minutes. I Let just wanted that. to correct the impression please. that I'll come to you. Kindly make a note for me. Kindly make a note for me. Kindly make a note for me. I'll come please. to you. Definitely. Please. Forgive me. Let me, let me, let me. So exhaust. here we are. We have a system is based on a statement of facts. Then you have the deferred trial, which is approved in court in a public hearing and signed off by a judge. And we are all calling it a judgment. That's it on the face of it, of the Sava Crown Court. Now, in that judgment, we are told that bribes were paid to Ghanaian government officials to induce the purchase of aircraft. Then you come to Ghana and you have three different links. Link one is that in Parliament, it is alleged that the debate, which he says was thorough, focused on the invoices which the minority felt were too high for that kind of aircraft, particularly since they were going to refurbish rather than purchase new ones. The minority felt that new ones were cheaper than refurbished. Uh, new ones ought to, uh, refurbished ones ought to have been cheaper than new ones. This time it was the other way around. The refurbished ones were apparently going to be far more expensive than buying new ones. That was raised. And the question of value for money was raised. And at the end of the day, the agreements were passed. So even at that time, the seed was sown. With your concern. Yes. With well, your side. Of course. They're in the minority. They agreed. It's, it's gone. It's passed. Then you fast forward 
And today, this investigation comes up, and we are talking about government official one, high-ranking elected official, key decision maker. And this person, we are saying, is John Mahama, because he was the highest elected official who remained in office from 2009 to 2015 when all these transactions were concluded. He was a key decision maker. I mean, he was a constant. Yes, he was. He couldn't have been minister because ministers constant. were changed. No, no, no. That, that's your argument. No, his position was, was, he was vice president. His position, I'm reinforcing it with the key decision, decision maker. Uh, decision maker. As key decision maker, he was chairman of the Armed Forces Council and then later president. And you recall that even during that time, the Embraer matters came up mm -hmm. and a committee was formed because President Mahama has ceded those decisions to him as chairman of the Armed Forces Council. So he was the key decision maker. And then government official one, we are told, turned out to be a relative of intermediary five. A close relative. A close relative of intermediary five. In fact, the US one then identifies him as a brother. A brother. And the link then closes there from high official to decision maker to government official one. It closes there because the accounts in the coup d'etat written by the president, it's an autobiography written by his former president, now candidate Mahama, of himself and his brothers and his family and his indecisiveness. He wrote it. He wrote He would run a bicycle downhill indecisively. Not that I, he wrote it for him. And he writes about his brother. Then he says that when his brother was nine, the brother's teachers, who were British nationals, got their father, who didn't, he says his father didn't understand what he was doing, got their father to sign away adoption papers to the British couple, who took him away. And because they were operating legally on the adoption papers, hid him away from the family in the UK for several years, until the 1990s when they were reunited. Now it turns out in the documentation, the statements of facts and otherwise, when they found out that he was his close brother, that this is the same facts they came up with. That this is a Ghanaian born UK national who had come into the UK at a very early age, has stayed in the UK for several years without contact with his family and had been reunited with his family. On the basis of that and what is in the coup d'etat, you find that it is the brother Samuel who is the intermediary five. So if you have intermediary five, who is the president's brother? You can't tell me. And the president is the key decision maker who was in place and constant as the high level elected official what? all the way to through to 2015 when the last aircraft arrived. And he stood on the tarmac and welcomed the aircraft. You can't tell me that it is not your mama. In any event, in any event, assuming without admitting, assuming without admitting that paragraph 13 says that uh, for fair trial, uh, people's names shouldn't be mentioned, and your name has been mentioned. Is it the case that because your name has been mentioned, you are guilty? If you are not guilty, what stops you from not panicking? Why are you panicking because your name has been mentioned? Who has panicked? Ah. Ever. The NDC is Ever. all over the place, Ever. panicking Ever. and sweating this and screaming and yelling. The most pathetic <laughs> argument <laughs> pathetic. I have heard from <laughs> all over the, the communications director and for, before anybody very officially pathetic. identified. Very who, pathetic. And, Evers, and let me make a point. Evers, let me make a point. Respond to Evers, government let me make a point. You see, <laughs> respond to government if, official one. If these arguments were to come from a non lawyer, I would forgive him. I, I'm a non-lawyer. Respond to the arguments. Respond these to arguments, the arguments are being made by a lawyer of so many years standing. Yeah, it's true. But what but about the facts? The, what about what the, the lawyer facts is say? saying that in a certain biography, some comments are made comment. relative to a brother. Comment. Yes. In the biography yes. comments. Yes. Comments. About a brother. So he was who, telling who, stories, who fixing was short lies. To the UK at comments. the age of nine. What are you talking about? This is now, the fact. Now, this is now, his now, and this is judgment. About his and this Samuel judgment. Adams, mama. Please, please, can you allow me this, to this, 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 this judgment? Just a second. Judgment. Both of you have a fair now. <laughs> so now we, and this, I can allow him to judge and bring him Mary on. Go on, go on, go on. And this judgment, reasons have been canvassed. You are panicking. Why they will not disclose the identities. You want to force it Let's go for it. on us. Wait a, minute, wait a minute. You want to force it on us? Paragraph that, that because an autobiography was written and there are some similarities in your view. This mm -hmm. is coming from a lawyer. Uh, paragraph 13 is here. 
He does, but I'm a bad lawyer. Paragraph 13 he's, is here. He's, he's in the realm of conjecture. Yes. Absolute conjecture. Circumstantial evidence, is, evidence is good evidence at law. Is evidence. And it can be corroborated. Please, please, please. The, the, the please, autobiography please, please. is corroborated by the facts. never from the lawyer. What are you talking about? Of so many, of so many, no years, of so many years standing. Oh, please. Of so many years standing. Let me move on about my career. I mean, I'm surprised. And focus on the facts. So, 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 let's make make the point. I am shocked. Paragraph 13. I am shocked. Based on the facts. I'm saying Go that, to paragraph 13. I'm saying that a statement I'm has the been issued. In Ghana. Mm -hmm. Go to paragraph 13. A statement has been issued. Mm -hmm. The intermediary five, mm -hmm. whoever he is, he knows himself. So President as, Mahama is not the intermediary five. Know, sorry, how government official one. You know? Government official one, uh -huh. whoever he is, uh -huh. the SFO of England uh -huh. would know. And mm -hmm. why don't you know John Mahama? Now, now, now as we sit here, is he John Mahama before this, not? he's not. So Before this guy, you know, I know that how. Who is he? Evans. Are we talking to him? You were in government. Evans. Who led Why those should negotiations? I speak to him? Who led those negotiations? On the face you of the judgment. Government. On who the face of the judgment, mm. who do you find, uh, do you find any disclosures made? So I'm asking you, so I'm asking you, do you find any disclosures made in the government? Who led the negotiations? I mean, what kind of, what kind of, who led the negotiations? What are you afraid of? Afraid who of is government of So, so there are some facts. So let's, 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 let me hear him and then we'll hear me now. Let's go. I'll come to you. Give me a second. I wanted to quickly land that we can, we can, we can do this. So we can hear each other. Go on, go on, go on. Land, that. It would be beneficial yes. to our that, that is what I'm saying. You learn, yes. then he will come in. Yes. My point is that the conjecture that my friend has made is unacceptable, especially uh, given the fact that he is a lawyer. Mm. First of all, he made an, a grave error when he stated that this was a trial. This was never a trial, Evans. I said this was never a trial. And let me, let me, no, no, please, 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 Allow him to make a point. Allow him to make a no point. Allow him to make a point. Prosecution witnesses were never called. James. Nobody, nobody entered the dock. Now I am telling you that the reason why the uh, Crown Court mm -hmm. found it expedient. You've made that point. Yes. You've made that point. Yes. It's here. Yeah. And I so when, when, when if you decide if you decide yeah. to go beyond that, right. when you were not the judge at the Crown Court. I mean, what kind of speculation This is nothing but an attempt to equalize. And we're saying that no amount of mad thrown at President Mahama will stick. We can, you cannot make wild speculations mm, and say well. President okay. Mahama should it's step it's forward okay. so and, let's speak, go and speak to your baseless so let's and wild let, speculations. Let me, let me, so let's go. We won't do that. We will not be tempted to just do that. Just a second. We won't, we won't follow you into the... We will not do just that. Just a second. Just a second. We won't just do that. Hold, hold, hold on. Uh, uh, Bobby, I'll come to you very uh, shortly. I want to bring in uh, Mary, Mary Ada quickly. I'll come back to you, uh, your Bobby. Can, <laughs> can I make a note for me? Mary, thank you for staying. I agree to stay with We lost you. We lost you briefly. We lost you briefly. From just a second, I want to hear. I want to hear my guests on the on Skype. We lost you briefly, but I'm pretty sure you follow this closely. This matter has gone to the special prosecutor. It's become a heated political matter. How is this resolved? Is the special prosecutor's reference or referral adequate? Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you very much, Evans, and good evening to uh, the distinguished. In a studio. Um, one of the things I find amusing this evening is the way your distinguished guests are going about this discussion. Unfortunately, the people of Ghana uh, believe that the issue should be addressed from a very apolitical point of view, and I, I believe the referral to the special prosecutor's office is appropriate. He is, as part of his mandate, supposed to be investigating issues that have procurement relations. And so it's the right place to go. We are waiting on that office, but the call is that we are hoping that this would go as fast as it's supposed to go. It is done as thoroughly as possible so that we are able to uncover 
whoever gov government official one is, whoever in intermediary five is, uh, whoever owns the co corporate vehicle that was um, created by intermediary five and six, uh, as they are mentioned as directors, whoever the six and sevens are, we want to know as a people who these people are, what they were able to do, and how the monies they have uh, benefited from the deals, whether they are commissions or in dues payments, which constitutes bribes, mm -hmm. whether these are so. We want the special prosecutor to get answers for us as quickly as possible so that we bring this to a closure. But one of the things I want, wanted to say quickly was the fact that Ghanaians deserve more. In the UK, they have been able to amicably settle, and the Airbus is paying so much to the state. Mm. Can we bring our energies together to argue that whatever monies have been stolen should be Wait on so that we get them back for a state, or if we are able also to work with these international bodies to find them so that this the state benefits instead of us talking about the issue and trying to equalize and trying to gain some collateral from them. I believe it is high time that as Ghanaians, whatever party we belong to, we should be thinking about how to take this forward, to make this matter one that is benefiting us. Mm. And then also to ensure that this doesn't happen again. Because to, today it's happened, we are talking about this from a NDC point of view. And MPP is happy to be talking about it. Tomorrow it could be the other way around. And we would still hear the same arguments as they are espoused but then from different angles. Let me and ask you this believe, very quickly. Um, it's gone uh, and we want to hear something Let me ask else. you this very quickly. The special prosecutor himself has been named as somebody with potential conflict in this matter. Uh, he was attorney general at some point during the period in, in question. Should he be allowed to investigate the matter, as some have suggested, recuse himself so the deputy takes over? In issues of conflict of interest, I believe that one of the things that we should be looking at in the matter of the uh, SP is to find out if indeed at the point he was involved in the process, mm. if he was, then it won't be too much to ask that he recuses himself. But then again, we know the gentleman Matiami do his stature and what he's been able to do in the past. This is a situation where we could see Matiami do do his work and do it very dispassionately without any influence. But if it is clearly marked, it is clearly determined that he was involved in these processes, potential conflict of interest issues arise and it would be good for him to recuse himself. I believe it is an office. It is not just him. There are other members in that office who can also do this work and do it very well. Let me ask you this. Based on the facts that you've seen in the document, have you seen enough facts to sort of come to your own conclusion who the government official one is? Evans, we have heard several arguments. We have read the documents. We do not want to preempt what the investigations come out with. with. Without, without, telling, so me, we without would... telling me who the person you think is, do you think, I mean, as a citizen, really, reading it, did you feel I know who this person is? My personal opinion on this platform does not count. <laughs> the opinion... <laughs> Okay, I think we are lo we are losing. Of mm. I, I think we're losing you there, but I'm grateful that you joined us. That is uh, Mariada with the Ghana Integrity Initiative, helping us with his thoughts on that subject. We're going to take a quick break. We'll return. 
my guests will, 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 will take up the issue for me about now Martin Amudu has started investigating this matter. The NDC really have been pushed to come forward with a statement on John Mahama. Yesterday, the spokesperson told us that they will be doing exactly that, that John Mahama should issue a statement. Already, Henrietta, who was the uh, um, Attorney General between 2013 and 20, 2017, really, um, or 2016, also issued a statement. Are we expecting that and what will be in the statement? Stay with us. So live on PM Express, so uh, James Agaga is a former Deputy Interior Minister. Also with me is Yababia Sama, who is the Director of Communications with the New Patriotic Party. Um, Yababia Sama, you, you were going to react to a few things, but substantively, this matter has already gone to the Special Prosecutor. We've moved on. We should let him just handle this. Yeah, I think, I think he should. I think he should, and it should be very swift in the nature of this What's matter. What's the haste? Hmm? What's the haste? It's, swift. it's an international matter. We've been exposed internationally, and, and the nature of the exposure really damps our reputation abroad, involved in a wide-ranging international scandal of such proportions. Bribery, and being caught under international rules about bribery, it's serious. The sooner we clear our names and reputations, the better. The sooner the culprits are found and dealt with, the better. So that Ghana as a republic can stand aside cleaned its reputation restored, as distinct from the individuals who sought to damage the reputation of Ghana. So it must be done. And, and part of the reason why it's also become inflamed now mm. is because of the possibility that it will take so long that we'll lose sight of it. Yeah. And, and that is worrying. Which is almost guaranteed now. That is worrying. And, and that is why we felt that we had to come out and make our position clear. Because there was a denial, a blanket denial. But what, the, what does that achieve other than score political points? No, no, that's why we are here, and the NDC is desperately trying to die who government official one is. Because you're so desperately trying to hang it on him. No, we have enough evidence, and that evidence we believe is incontrovertible at this stage, that they don't have anything now to dispute what we have put forward. I hear James Agaga saying that the man who took biography are just comments. <laughs> it's not even about it any longer. I mean, that's how desperate it is. Somebody writes a history of his family, and a matter happens, and the evidence is such that it's, it's close. It's a commentary. Why? A commentary of about his... blood? Uh, no, no, no. Lineage? No, no, no. About his Lineage? family life. I, I, the, 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 family the, life. I got the factual account of that commentary. Uh, uh, An autobiography is commentary. Life. But it's a factual. Well, if I stop, <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> double in terms of conjecture. I don't want to do that. No, but I'm not talking about conjecture. I'm not talking about conjecture. I'm not talking about conjecture. Extrapolations and, and, and uh, what is trying to do so, here. So let's go on. Okay. Let's go on. At best, it's very prejudicial. That is why I want the judge. You used to be a nice boy. That is why the judge. That is why the judge. You said I'm a bad lawyer. You used to be a nice boy. No, no, no. Let me speak. I want to agree with you. You're calling me a boy. I want to move on from the from the from the identities because Evers. there's no you, you are, you are spoiling. Let, 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 let me speak. Let me laugh. Oh, let me laugh. Let no, he, no, he I had just had a let him finish. I'll come back. Just had a minute. Oh. Briefly. So, so we are saying that it's important mm. that the matter is resolved quickly. Otherwise, we may lose sight of it, and it's not good for us in our international situation. And and also, the matters will linger. Mm. The longer they are there, the more they become subject to political, uh, you know ups and downs and otherwise and these arguments will go on interminably but the people are there the people are known by the serious front office of the uk yeah. so once we get in touch why with shouldn't them, we just write to them and ask for that uh, yeah i'm not going finisher. to determine the method for the yeah. investigation but should that happen do you expect yeah, that to happen i think it's an investigatory process okay. i think but that, you expect that, that to happen. Standard. of course yeah. i think it's standard. let me bring practice. him in here Ever. that um, should happen uh, the 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 ndc has made itself very clear on the issue of the referral by the president. You approve to, it? To, yes, of course. We are ready to cooperate with the uh, special prosecutor to get to the bottom of this matter. Let that be made clear to the communication. Should Martin Amadou lead that of, process? I, well, let him, he's the one who is in office. Let him start. If it becomes appropriate for um, some objections to be raised, I'm sure he's a is, lawyer. Is there a basis for an objection, is, is, knowing is his a, history? He's a lawyer of repute. 
if he thinks that there would be conflict of interest, I'm sure he would do the But I'm asking your opinion on this, because you're a lawyer yourself, knowing that you were in government with him. I don't know the, the extent was there of his you. involvement. Mm -hmm. I can't sit here and He was attorney general at one know. point. No, but... Remember that this spanned 2019, 2009. Yes. To this I said 2009, I was not in government. Yes, but he was at yes. some point. Yes, yes. When this was happening, I can't speak for him. I can't I, sit here and pretend. But she should. Is, is there the level she of his involvement? Right. I can't tell. Yeah, yeah give me a second. Let me just let, 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 forgive me. Let him. So uh, yes, the referral is appropriate. Let him get to the bottom of this matter, and swiftly. But Evans, once again, I want to make the point mm -hmm. that the special prosecutor. So many issues of corruption allegations have rocked this current yeah, regime. Yes, equalization. The but Ameri Novation deal it. is still fresh in our minds. You have Ameri a list. Ameri will not go away. Ameri will not go away. This is the list. The PD, uh, viewers, this is the wait, list. Wait, wait, wait. The PDS <laughs> bought scandal. And I heard the special prosecutor say he didn't have the jurisdiction oh, to yeah, deal yeah. with that matter. NDC. I think otherwise. The, 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 the flying tricycles and 500 excavators. Well, somebody has been arrested. The, 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 Six the, people the, have the been Charles arrested. The Charles Bissu incident. All these are matters. In fact, the Charles Bissu incident, the last time I checked, the special prosecutor was seized with it. Except that the CID crossed him and said they had done the investigations ahead of the special prosecutor and exonerated him. We don't wonder. These issues will not go away. The attempt to equalize will not fly. No amount of mad thrown at President Mahama will stick. At the end of the day, the, 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 the doubts... Who is throwing the mad? The doubts, the, the, doubts, oh. the doubts that this judgment has created will be resolved. Ah, and, well, well, those, and those who have made wild speculations would bow down their heads in shame. But yeah. let us deal with the numerous corruption allegations that have rocked uh, this government. Yeah. Let us deal with those ones very swiftly. This matter only happened when... When, when was the judgment delivered? 31st January 2020. Just last Friday. Most of the um, corruption scandals I have enumerated predates these ones. So let's mm. deal with all of them. Because we want to rid how our much, country no, of final, corruption. Final how much devoid of, a, of politics. How much of a damage does this do to the perception of the NDC as a party, some have suggested, or a government often tagged with corruption and, in, and incompetence? Look, he's a lawyer. The legal maxim is... <laughs> A and Q, B, K, D, C, non K, negat. He who alleges proofs. Uh. The Constitution guarantees the rights of suspects. You are innocent until proven guilty by a court of competent jurisdiction. Uh. So, 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 you see, the speculative behavior of the MPP communicators led by my good friend, Honorable Yabwabeng Asamo, leaves my to be designed. Okay, let, 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 it is prejudicial, it is yeah, unacceptable, yeah, yeah, and it should never for me. engage yeah. your, your point is. Lawyers do politics. They participate in politics, like doctors and teachers. In politics, perception is everything, including the perceptions associated with the certain personalities in this game. In Ghana, the personality of John Mahama is politically perceived to be corrupt. According in Ghana, to yes, he, he is surrounded in a this is, mass this is an MPP of personal, perception. personal. This is no, no, MPP it's perception, not Ghanaian perception. He's been at the center, he's been at the center of the Embraer scandal. He's been at the center of the Embraer scandal. We have 30 seconds to wrap up. He's been at the center of the Majaro scandal. He's been at the center of the center of great loot and share. We should be becoming for you. It is personal. Please, he's listed all these things. None of them has to do with the president. This. All the things is listed has nothing to do with the person of President PDS. We are saying that we are saying that President John Mahama at this stage in time is very close to and can be identified based on the evidence as government official one. He should come out and show that he is not government official one and that he is clean and that he presided over a clean guilty on to guilty on to prove it. So why have you referred this? He's a politician. He's a politician. He presided over a clean process in acquiring the gems that we are using in this country. Gentlemen, I need to bring it to a close. I'm grateful that you joined us. My last comment. My last comment. My last comment is that you can't do Bloomberg. Bloomberg that oh, you please, were, please. You yes. were Bloomberg says what? We have Bloomberg, ten says, seconds. That that Bloomberg say. says that Ghana's currency is the best performing in well, the world no, at no, the no, moment. So you are still talking about currency. Because I'm grateful for that. Last year, when Bloomberg said, I'm grateful when Bloomberg said, the NDC was jumping. The NDC was jumping. I'm scandalized that you are joining us. He's talking about currency.